Hi guys, it's Rich from Advancing Car. Just a quick one. Um, we've had quite a few people asking how to get the instrument cluster out of a T6. Um, so we just thought we'd do a quick video, show you how it's done. Tools you're gonna need, T20 screwdriver and a trim tool. That's about it. Right then. So, to start off, you need to pull your steering wheel out, drop it all the way down, because you need to be able to access these three bits of trim across here. We're going to start off by popping out the trim around the stereo, so you just get in right underneath, and you can see it's already starting to pop out. And then you can either use the trim tool along the bottom, or you can just feel it with your fingers and come across. Sometimes you knock the uh, hazards on as well. And then you just work the trim tool up the side here until it all pops out the top end. And then again, work along with the trim tool on the top edge and then wiggle this out. Put that somewhere safe like that. Now, because this surround, the clock surround is being held in by this vent as well, you need to pop this one out. Now these are done by going in underneath again and then you leave the trim tool kind of up and what it does is it pops the bottom out and then releases the whole thing. So I should be able to just, there we go, you get some horrible clicks and cracks but it's fine as long as you don't go too crazy on it. And then all you've done is just released these four spring clips and pulled it out. Right then, now you can either use a trim tool to get in and pull this out or you can just use your hands because it's held in by these tight little clips down here and there's various ones that go all the way around. So what I'm going to do is I, I just use my hands to be honest and then just pull it and you'll get a quite a, a heavy clicking sound that doesn't sound very nice. Sometimes it sounds like it's breaking but it's not, just the style of clip. So there we go. Ah, oh, that one was all right actually, that one's come off before. Right, so now that's released, you'll see that the this piece of material for the top of the steering wheel is attached to this top cover. So with your trim tool, you're just going to go into one of the edges around here or down the side, release this top cover because then it comes off with the surround. So I like to go in the right hand side, I get my finger, so doing it on this side, I get my finger in the hole where the stalk is and I put a bit of upward pressure, and then when the trim tool goes in, it pops it off. But I'm right-handed, so I have to do this side. So we'll just, there we go. So I was just pulling, and then just tease the trim tool in, and that released that. Now, we should be able to, there we go, just pulls it all off like that. And we just carefully wiggle everything out. Trying to get past everything. There we go. And again, put that somewhere safe out of the way. Now you can see the whole clock um, kind of uh, module, if you like, as, a, as its own box. And down at the bottom here is the two little sneaky T20 screws just hiding at the bottom of the clocks. So I'm just gonna get in there with a the T20, undo those, and then it'll be a case of grabbing the clocks as kind of carefully and as solidly as possible, top and bottom, and, um, and wiggling them out to release the four big clips that are either side of the unit. So we'll get these T20s out. fiddly and if you do drop them invariably they land on the cover above your feet so it's not you know if you drop them it's not like oh you're gonna have a rattle for the rest of your life there we go there's one I just put them in the cup holder there right I'm just gonna get my hand in there See if I can get that one out. There we go, that one's come out a bit easier. Right. So, as I said, we're now gonna get our hands kind of, if you can, up in the top and down the bottom, and you need to kind of rock it slightly and pull because you've got four clips holding it in around here, around here, and the same on the other side. 
just be careful not to obviously crack this clear um, screen because they can sometimes be wanting to break if you're not careful. So you can see it's nice and loose. There we go, there's one. So it's big solid clips, but as long as you kind of go carefully with it and tease it out, it's not too bad. There we go. Right, now we have a plug on the back. And we just release the orange arch lock. If we can do that, there we go. And then that pops out. Now it's important to remember, if you're taking this out, once you've unplugged that, um, that plug, it's important that you don't turn your ignition on, otherwise you're then gonna end up with faults and you'll have to, if you haven't got VCDS or VADCOM, um, you'll have to take it somewhere to have those cleared. But as long as you don't turn on the ignition or anything like that, your, far, your van is fine to sit here without the clocks in. Um, and then once you've done whatever you need to do with your clocks, putting them back in is just the reverse of what you did to remove it all. Clocks go back in, making sure the plug's plugged in, and then you'll put the main surround back in, clip everything down, vent in, central vents back in. Um, and that's removing the clocks from a T6. Hope this has uh, helped. If it has, give us a like. Um, make sure you share it with your mates if they've got T6s and things. And um, we'll try and think of, or you know, we'll, yeah, we'll try and think of some more videos to do like this. Or if you know a video you'd like to have, then uh, drop us a comment, and uh, and we'll make it for you. Cheers for watching. Mm -hmm.